Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Welcome to year three of the 17 Verses podcast. I'm your host, Maher Haq. In this podcast, we take a small selection from the Quran every day and recite it to you in plain English, so you can get a small slice of God's word while you go about your day. By averaging 17 verses per day, we're able to break the Quran down into manageable pieces and finish it in one year. If you enjoy the podcast, please help spread the word. Tell your friends and family, subscribe on iTunes or Stitcher, and write us a review. Today's selection is from Surah 2, Al-Baqarah, or The Cow, verses 197 through 210. These verses talk of the Hajj, or pilgrimage to Mecca, and then discuss the matter of hypocrisy versus belief, and conclude with an admonition to enter into Islam completely. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. Hajj is in the well-known months. One who undertakes to perform it must abstain from husband-wife relations, obscene language, and wrangling during Hajj. Whatever good you do, Allah knows it. Take necessary provisions with you for the journey, and piety is the best provision of all. Fear me, O people, endowed with understanding. There is no blame on you if you seek the bounty of your Lord during this journey. When you return from Arafat, Stop at Muzdalifa and praise Allah near Mashar al-Haram. Praise Him as He has guided you, for before this you were from the people who had lost the right way. Then return from where the others return and ask Allah's forgiveness, for surely Allah is forgiving and merciful. When you have fulfilled your sacred duties, praise Allah as you used to praise your forefathers or with deeper reverence. There are some who say, Our Lord, give us abundance in this world. Such people will not have any share in the hereafter. But there are others who say, Our Lord, give us the good life both in this world and in the hereafter, and save us from the torment of the fire. Such people shall have their due share in both worlds according to what they have earned. Allah is swift in settling all accounts. Celebrate the praises of Allah during these appointed days. If anyone hastens to leave Mina after two days or stays there a day longer, there is no blame on him provided he spends these days in piety. Fear Allah and remember that you will surely be gathered before him. Among the people there is one whose speech fascinates you in this worldly life. He may even call upon Allah to witness what is in his heart yet he is your staunch opponent. And when he leaves you, he directs his efforts towards causing mischief in the land, destroying crops and cattle. Allah, whom he makes his witness, does not like mischief. When it is said to him, Fear Allah, arrogance carries him off to sin. Hell will be the proper place for such a person, which is indeed an evil refuge. And among the people there is one who would give away his life to seek the pleasure of Allah. Allah is affectionate to his devotees. O believers, enter into Islam completely and do not follow the footsteps of shaitan, for surely he is your clear-cut enemy. If you falter after receiving the clear-cut message, then keep in mind that Allah is mighty and wise. Are they waiting for Allah to come down to them in the shadow of clouds, along with the angels, and make his decision known? Ultimately, all matters will be presented to Allah for decision. Amin. This concludes today's episode of the 17 Verses Podcast. I hope that this selection helps increase your understanding of the Holy Quran just a little bit. If you like the podcast, you can subscribe in iTunes or Stitcher and write us a review. Or you can grab the RSS feed and put it into your own podcast app. The show notes, including a text version of this episode, can be found by going to 17verses.com. That's the numbers 17-V-E-R-S-E-S dot com. Thank you, and be well.